Hey yo everybody, I'm Max and Bees, and I'm wondering why it took a pandemic level virus for everyone to understand that you should be washing your hands. Now look, I'll be the first one to tell you that I don't wash my hands enough. I don't feel like I need to. And that's a personal flaw. However, this situation that we have found ourselves in should not warrant this widespread panic. Sure, look, don't get me wrong. This virus is dangerous. It has claimed lives. It will continue to claim lives. There are people who, you know, the ones who are already vulnerable or the ones who are currently suffering from something else, there is a chance that this could be more deadly for those individuals. So I'm not trying to make light of the situation. What I want to bring to the table is the fact that I, a person who did not panic, a person who truly didn't change anything because I feel I've been doing the right thing all along, tried to go grocery shopping. And look, I understand. Everybody's going to stock up on toilet paper. Everybody's going to buy hand sanitizer. Everybody's going to buy soap. You know, all the, all the regular stuff. Here's where you start to lose me. Milk. Bread. Eggs. Well, uh, leave eggs out of it. Milk and bread. People, you understand that stuff goes bad, right? Really? I don't understand why I saw someone with eight packs of hot dog buns. I don't understand why I saw someone with seven gallons of milk. Seven. Look, I don't have the biggest fridge in the world, and I will never claim to. The biggest average fridge does not have room for seven gallons of milk on top of your regular groceries. Here's where it gets worse. And this, when I say worse, it kind of gets funny at this point. Where I shop, there is a single aisle that holds toilet paper, Kleenex, paper plates, plastic cutlery, silverware, you know, like plastic forks and stuff. I, I understand that the toilet paper is gone. I understand that the paper towels are gone. I can almost understand why the paper plates are gone. Who bought all the plastic knives? Who thought that maybe if I end up with, the, with COVID-19, the coronavirus, that I'm going to need as many plastic knives as I can get my hands on? I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I do understand taking this seriously and for taking it as it is. This is something that we in our lifetime have never dealt with and honestly didn't think we would have to. But come on, guys. Please. Let, drop the panic a little bit. Understand what it is and live your life. Move forward. Now, that being said, there's a lot of stuff that's closed. There's a lot of people who are going stir crazy because, you know, full cities are in lockdown and, and everybody's trying to say social distancing and self quarantine and all this stuff. And a lot of this is new. A lot of it is scary. And a lot of it, I understand, may be reacting a little bit more strongly towards. But widespread panic and all of this, all the crazy buying, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. There's a lot of people out in the world who are being ignorant to each other over this thing. And it, it makes me sad. It makes me sad that the general public as, as a whole cannot understand that, that this is the wrong way to go about things. You know, it, in these times, we need to treat each other kindly. We need to look out for one another. We need to, we need to make sure that everybody's protected. Everybody's got food. Everybody has shelter. Like there's, there's a lot more things that really should be your concern other than buying nine months worth of toilet paper. I guess what I'm trying to say is I hope that in the coming days, in the coming weeks, 
as this thing inevitably gets worse and then hopefully gets better, that maybe we can all just take a step back and recognize that there are people suffering and that we should probably be nice to just about everybody because we don't know what they're going through. We don't know if they've got a family member with this disease or if, or not disease, virus, or if they themselves are just worried, you know, anxious people. If they are, you know, that like that's fine. We just be, be kind. Be kind. Be kind to everyone. Be kind to your neighbors. Don't go hoarding. Don't this isn't gonna be a like six month thing. You'll be okay. We can make it through. Kinda of funny though. It seems like everywhere you go, uh the stuff that people are running out of, you know, the stores are running out of, uh changes. I noticed there was no peanut butter left. Understandable, right? Peanut butter lasts for a long time. High source of protein. Whatever. I get it. There was no grape jelly. However, uh, there was quite a large number of strawberry jellies left that apparently people are too good for. So, I don't know. You know, treat everybody nice and buy some strawberry jelly. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for my... <laughs> My coronavirus rant. I don't have much else to say except I hope everybody stays careful. I hope everybody's smart about this thing. You know, treat it the way it ought to be treated and make sure that you and yours and the people around you are all being taken care of and treated the right way. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I am going to be putting out more videos this week. I figure everybody could use a couple more videos in the, uh, panicky times that we're in right now so keep your eye out for those videos coming but again thank you guys for watching and hearing me rant on and talk about this stuff i'm max and bees and remember everybody always be yourself see you later